Welcome to Microfocus Data Discovery. In this session, we're going to talk about tags, how the tags are created, particularly. And these are tags are the tags are used to um, apply um, some information to a particular file that's captured, perhaps from the content. So we apply some business rules to apply that tag. So a classic case when we say we found some sensitive data, we found a credit card or some bank information or a passport number found that with inside the content of the file, apply that particular tag to the file, so then that we can use this inside the analysis to show how sensitive data is, is defined within across your file systems and across your unstructured data repositories, and then how we manage them so we can actually use those tags to manage the data. So let's look at these tags. We go into the connect tile. And tags are on the left hand side here. So the way we define those tags is within inside this section. Um, out of the box, you there are no tags created, but they're easy to create new tags from some templates. Now the structure of the tags is that each tag is defined according to a reporting group. So um, a reporting group has a number of different tags within inside it. And this helps us in, term, in terms of our dashboard and helps us in our analysis. Now, when you first get the product and there'll be no tags created, so rather than recreate and manually create all the tags for all the existing grammars, we give, they give you a method of creating them very quickly. And we do that through some templates. So if you click on this and you create, create from template, you can select all of the reporting groups and hit create, and this will create the majority of the ones that you see here that I've defined. So this will create a number of these different um, tags in here. It'll create the reporting groups, um, and it'll create a number of waiting labels. Now the waiting labels are defined on the left-hand side here, and you can see the definition of them in the colors in here and you can see them in the column down the right hand side. So each one of the tags we give a weight and, and the weight is so that in the analysis we can then give it a privacy score and also we can see it with inside the analytical charts that we see. We can start to judge where the sensitive data is and where we should start taking action immediately. So first of all, let's have a look at these weighting labels. Okay, so these are the ones that have been created out of the box. And this is the, the green one here I've created manually. And I think I created this highly sensitive one manually as well. So these two are created by the templates. And you can see we got, by the templates, we had a sensitive and a partial of 80 and 55. Now these, so I, I can create as many as you like of these weighting labels. And you, you get an option to give it a particular color. Um, and you can give this any type of label you like. So um, put any name you like here and a weight according to zero to 100. And that weight, that score, weighting score is then used to give the, to calculate the privacy scores within inside the analysis and within inside the manage workspaces. Term lists are an option to, to create um, lists of uh, terms that um, can be imported so that you can create these manually um, or so just give it a name and a description and then you can either put in a list of terms there or add an initial list of terms or if you have them either downloaded or exported from another system you can just in terms of a txt or a csv form you can drag and drop them in here so this example here i got a list of the FTSE 250 companies and I dragged and got that in terms of a text file. I dragged and dropped it onto here and it created the list of the companies here. Then these, these terms can then be used in the tags. And so let's go and look at these tags in a little bit more detail. So, okay, so here's a, so a couple of ones that we'll look at. These, this one is created out of the box. So if I look at this one and hit the edit button on the right hand side, you can see this is a static tag, so sorry, it's a dynamic tag. So um, the other option is a static tag. It's been linked to the financial data reporting group and 
by default it's given a sens sensitive label. You believe that that's wrong and it actually should be highly sensitive. There's no reason why you can you can't just change it in this sec in this uh, option here. In the criteria, this is where we we put the business rules to say how this tag will be applied. So we're, here we're saying that any um, if we, when we're indexing the information, if we find any of the grammars that's, that's calculated by, uh, under the definition bank account numbers, if that in any way hits that document, this tag will be applied to the, to, to the file in the analysis and can be used later on. If we believe that we need to add some more information, in turn we can, we've got option to use any kind of, kind of Boolean algorithms, so we can use any, all or none to say, to help us define these criteria. In, the, in terms of keywords, we can the keywords that we can use is any type of elastic analysis. So uh, if we can say sales is five words near document, for example, or we could say, or more probably a better example would be account near by number. So here we have to find account number pattern and somewhere in the document there has to be the word account and it's close to the word number. So this is a way you can just build up the algorithm to be more accurate with inside um, um, the definition of the tag. Okay, so this is the way to define the tags. And the information is then displayed in these in reporting groups. Um, you can customize and add new tags as much as you like. This is here's a new tag that I created, but this is any doc document so that is about US insurance co companies. So here I've said this is in the internal data reporting group, and it's a this data is defined as commercial in confidence. And here I've said any of the term lists that are defined. Um, so any um, any uh, of the words within the document that have a hit in times this term list, then the, the term list will then for a trigger to apply the tag to this file that we'll use for analysis and we'll use to help us define what to do with this information. Okay, so that's the definition of tags, how to create them, how to edit them. Um, how to link them to waiting labels, how to create reporting groups, how to get started so you can create room from templates to get you started. This gives you all of the kind of PII based ones all get ready to go. Um, and also how to use term lists. Okay, thank you very much.